G'day guys and girls, Bezza Box here, and today we are back with Car Mechanic uh, Simulator 2018. That's a tongue twister for me, I screw it up every time. But um, anyway guys, back in the garage, um, gotten a little bit further ahead. Um, I just went and recorded a video, but um, it just went over an hour of recording and it stuffed up me trying to stop the recording. So I'm going to have to um, redo that another time, really don't re feel like what I just did doing that again. But uh, today we're going to try to get a bit more XP and uh, see if there's a, the best way of getting XP. Um, we're going to have a quick look in my garage too. I bought a few new cars. I got rid of a few. But now we've got um, these four over here. You know, we've got a uh, Camaro looking one. We've got a uh, like a Stingray looking one, convertible. We've got, um, I guess this is like a Pontiac looking one. Uh, there's another, another car similar to this. It's got a different front end. And it is um, like the Smokey and the Bandit car, I believe it's called a Bandit. And it's, uh, you know, an old Trans Am. And then we got this Shelby looking car here. Um, the video I just recorded um, that I'll have to re-record at some stage. Not today though. Um, I pretty much bought a junkyard car and just uh, tore it completely down. Gave it 100% parts everywhere. Obviously didn't do body work and uh, didn't do paint or anything like that. Um, and to see if we made a bit of a profit. We did, we didn't make that much experience, um, you know, taking spark plugs in and out, obviously you make, you know, 8 XP in 10 seconds, but when you're taking off those bigger parts, you're not making much experience. But um, I'm definitely going to do it again, but I think I'll wait until we unlock the uh, the paint booth and the, the welding ability, which as you can see, we're still a fair bit away. Um, welding's here. And, uh, you know, so we need about 11 more points because you get it just before 35. Because um, you start off with one point or whatever and you can unlock these. But anyway, it's a bit weird. But, uh, yeah, got to wait till there for the welding and obviously a little bit before to get uh, the, I guess, an ad additional lifter. Dino could be called too. And the paint shop. But um, we're going to start working towards that. Just try to grind down some XP. Um, we did find out that we did actually make a little bit of money. I believe I had $141,543 and now we obviously have $149,201. So let's see what we got for phone calls anyway. Now, let's see how much XP we can do and how quick we can do it. So let's go do this one and uh, uh, we'll do it now. It's just a transmission. So it shouldn't take too long to do. We're not going to make more much parts. We're not going to um, spend time. What did I do that for? Screw it up. We're not going to make much XP doing the parts itself. It's actually completing the job. What, what am I doing? Ah, we don't need to do this. Can I exit this? I can't exit. Looks like I'm stuck doing this. So, um, yeah, basically the theory behind this or my idea about it, I don't want to use cheats or anything. It'll ruin the game for me and maybe for you guys as well. But um, as you can see, we've got... I don't even know if you make XP by doing these tests. I've got to put the brakes on. Uh, uh, but we've got 18, 3, 6, 7. I'm going to write that down, actually. While we're doing this stupid test. 18, 3, 6, 7. Alright, so um, this is obviously, we'll count this as time too, so it would have been, we've done a minute and I haven't even touched the car. Anyway, we'll minus a minute, we'll minus a minute, minus a minute, uh, half, uh, when we actually do our little calculation. So um, let's start it from now, I guess, yeah, I'll help out to four minutes, okay, that'll do it. Let's get on the car lift, bloody hell, about time, actually doing shit now. Let's get this car up. Now I believe this car looks like it might be a front wheel drive. I really didn't have a good read of it, but it did say transmission. So transmissions are pretty quick normally, but it's a front wheel drive. It's a little bit more complicated. Yeah, gear, gearbox. So it's probably all the interior parts of the gearbox, like the, um, the clutch, pressure plate, all that good stuff. But we gotta take the wheels off for this one because it's front wheel drive. Uh, for the rear wheel drive, you just do the tail, tail shaft normally. And that's pretty much it. We have to do starter. I bet you the starter we have to get from the top as well. So, you know, we've stuffed up a couple of times already. But it should it still shouldn't take too long. Uh, let's see how much... Our XP has gone up a little bit. It's gone up by three. So, you know, three parts gone. That's pretty much it. So, let's get rid of the starter. 
So when you pull apart a, a complete car, obviously you do get those points, but it takes so long. It took me an hour just to get like 300 experience or something, which isn't really good enough. So um, we're going to see until we get the next level point anyway. We'll keep on going through. Um, we have to take off this part now. So yeah, we're, we're only going to make like 20, 20 points if that just removing and putting parts back on. But it's really just completing the job, that's the big thing. Um, I think the, the bigger the job, you might get a XP bonus, a bigger XP bonus at the end of, for completing it. That's something we can test out today, actually. We'll see how much XP we get for this. And so, yeah, it was all the interior parts, so we knew that. We can do this pretty quickly. Um, this is if you really want to grind XP, I guess, uh, without using cheats. And that's easy enough. Go ahead. And now um, we just put the parts back on and that's pretty much the job done. You don't really have to think about it too hard with with this. It's not like um, doing... Well, brakes isn't too hard either, but you, you got to do the... Um, you got to make sure you do the brake servo and all that stuff. Pretty much all these... All this stuff in the engine bay as well. But, you know, the starter being in the engine bay, it's not too much of a difference. But you are working... The whole length of the car, you're doing the back tyres and the front tyres and all that stuff. But um, I have a big trouble with body parts. Body parts drive me crazy. I don't know why, it's just... I don't know, I don't find much fun in it. Unless I pull apart the whole car and I just buy all the parts and I can just smack them on. But like looking for them on the, on the computer and stuff. Which when you pull apart the whole car and you're doing the full rebuild, what I, I just did... Um, it's very helpful instead of going back and forth you can like literally just go ahead and I, I put things into place So I also didn't accidentally buy extra parts and yeah, we still made seven grand off one car from the scrapyard obviously gonna make a lot more once we Once we get a spray booth and we can dyno it and, and Fix the body up because the body was trashed the body was trashed, but that should be job done How long did that take it that took us about Three minutes, and how much XP did that give me? I forgot to look, but all together, it gave me just under 150, so that's not too bad. Two jobs, we're gonna get our extra point anyway, so let's see a job here. Let's see another easy one. Don't wanna do suspension, you wanna do something like uh, this one. Transmission and exhaust, how easy could that be? You can pretty much see everything. Like, you don't have to put it on uh, the test track, you don't have to take it through the other thing like I did. Did I just do it again? Force a habit, guys. I'm sorry. Force a habit. That's pretty much what I normally do with uh, the car. You get a bit of the story missions. Story missions, normally they just say, Oh, I went camping. I did some shit and then fucked up. And Well, with these ones, they normally give you a little bit of a list. Or just, a, you know, just small jobs to do. Make you a little bit of money. Not a lot of money. Not a lot of XP. But those little bit of XPs, you do enough jobs, uh, you're really going to get ahead. So, um... So you can pretty much just see it, like middle mufflers and one V8. And that should be it, isn't it? Yeah, that's all the transmission noisy and uh, yeah, so that's all it is. Easy as, muffler can be done in a minute. Uh, I actually can't remember what it was. Was it two middle mufflers and... Well, that's what I'm doing if I screw up and get the wrong, wrong part, that's... It's no big deal to me. I do have $150,000. So in this game, I find it a lot easier than um, some of the other, other ones I've played just to get money and stuff. Where's middle? There it is, right above me. And two of them, that should be it. For that. And now it's a rear wheel drive, so you gotta take the um, drive shaft off. Look how easy it is, guys. No problem at all. We got, we've gotta take the part off. Now put it back onto itself. Alright. Um, as I was going in the last episode, I was just going through where I get my cars from normally. I bought one at auction. That was that black car I got. That's um, the, not the Bandit, but the other version of it. And the bodywork, you can tell, it's just a little bit better than all the other cars. Um, did, I take this? did I even take the starter off? I don't even remember doing that. Sort of when I start talking, I go into a blur and uh, lose focus. But anyway, that's fine. Now, uh, what transmission was that? 
Ah, oh, I forgot to get rid of all the parts from the last bit. See all the parts I took off the other card that just were just were useless. Um, so yeah, starters are alright. Uh, V8 OHV. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Now we just go this one. I don't believe it's an F. Could be. No big deal. All right, cool, cool. Got all those parts. Start smacking them on. Uh, one thing with uh, when you're uh, doing your own own car is that you can take the engine out of the, the car because you haven't got a list like with uh, jobs. Normally you've got a list and you can pinpoint what parts need to be 100% and which ones can be a little, a little crappier. But with uh, your own car, you want everything pretty much to run or you want 100% or you do whatever you want. So you can take it, take your car or take the engine out of the car, put it on the engine engine rack and build it from there. That's what I've been doing, but there has been a problems when I put it back in the car. Some of the parts haven't registered as being seen, even though you've put every single nut and bolt back into that car. And look, look how easy that is. Now we got our extra point. How good is that, guys? So let's go and let's get rid of some of the... Why do I have so much glass and... I have no idea why I got all that. But anyway, it's not my problem right now. This one. Just want to get some money. We actually made a bit of money from that. What did we make? Eight grand for that build. That's pretty good. We made more money in that three minutes than I did just over an hour of building my own car. And granted, I didn't really do much to the body or anything. So I think uh, from now on, I'll do that little experiment once I get all the parts parts up and going, all the workshop build up. But uh, basically, I'll, all the charges and stuff, everything else, I'm probably just going to keep test drive it for myself. I'm not going to need these windows and stuff. Well, if I do, I'll just buy new ones. It doesn't really matter. Could have probably tried fixing some of those parts too, but we need got 160,000. But we can spend a part, uh, spend a point on something. What have we? Oh, we've unlocked another thing. That's great for us. Uh, we can repairs good, fast installations good, show you average value of car auction, doing recycling. Because that's what I want, but you know, hopefully next couple of episodes I'll be able to get up to here. Um, other than that, guys, uh, just found a barn find. So let's have a look, see if there's anything worth getting. We still got plenty of space in our parking garage. I believe we have three spots left. So left, let's see if there's a car worth looking for. Pretty much got all the cars I want. There is one. Uh, leave a comment if you know what the deal is. Ooh, so see how these cars, like when you get a junkyard car, this is all rusted out, like just terrible. But from Barn Find, they are a little bit better condition, but they are a little bit more expensive. That's actually not a bad price. But I think I got one of them. I can't remember. Well, I've done one of them in the past. Uh, ooh, what's this? Uh, I don't think I've got one of these. What are you called? You are called a Bolt Hellcat. Hellcat. It doesn't look like a Hellcat to me, but anyway. Uh, not a bad looking car. A bit retro. A bit retro. Let's see whether the, if the money is right. Ooh, the money is right. Hmm. I actually want to see. Actually, I know what we'll do today. I know what we'll do today. I want to see if we can cut. I should have bought that car because that's what I wanted to try it on. It looks like we'll be doing up a little bit of a challenger today. Challenger or one of the other muscle cars? Ah, well, I'm gonna go look for a muscle car anyway and see if it can even be done. Um, screw it, we use my own cars. I'll just put the original parts back on it after we're done. Let's see if we can actually upgrade parts on your car. Wasn't sure if you could do that in the past, so we're gonna have a look at that. So, what car do we want to choose? It's gotta be a V8, obviously. It's different V8 variations. Um, you got a, is that a, is that triple? That looks like a triple bloody, I don't mess with that. What are you, you double, single, you're a single. Yeah, we could probably screw you up. You're a single too, different engines. What are you, you're a double. Okay, so, ooh, we haven't messed around with this rotary. Is you a single rotary? I believe you're a single rotary. Uh, no, rotary too, it's probably got two rotaries. Uh, maybe we can do one of these, screw up one of these. Um, let's screw you up. You look like you could be screwed up. And I wouldn't give a shit. 
Do you not a charger? I am a Mopar man myself. Do you like my Mopars? Alright. So basically, I want to see if we can put um, just different things on it. Um, more aesthetic to it. This hasn't got a bonnet, so let's see if we can get a blower on it. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you know what the deal is with uh, in the openings of this game. It looks like a, a, a CUDA on the, the front of this game, but I haven't been able to find one. I haven't even found one in the showcase, so let's take this shit off. Let's see if we can actually put different... Like a single barrel or... Or even a supercharger. Ooh, that would be good. Get some boost into this thing. Obviously, I don't think we'll be able to put a turbo. But anyway, let's see what we've got here. Let's just look up. Charger. Charge. Charge. Yeah, see, we've got... Yeah. Supercharger intake. Let's try it. And it'll give it dual, dual carbies. That's good. We already got that. Can we do it? No, we can't. Why can't we do that? I thought this is... Yeah, overhead. Why can't we do... Bloody supercharged. That's a bit annoying. Um, or did I do the wrong supercharger? Did I do the wrong super... Let's have a look. That's not where I wanted to go. Let's go up here. No, let's try supercharger. I don't know what they they want from me then. It's overhead. It would be an overhead. Or would it? Yeah, there's a, the valves there. Overhead valves, is it? Mm, leave a comment if you know if there's ways of uh, actually doing this. Maybe in another one, maybe with the orange engine. Actually, I know how it would do that. Let's just put all the parts back on. It's no big deal. No big deal. We'll find a way. We'll get some of the other engines. And we'll just put it on our car stand. And just test it out from there. Okay, well, I had none of that. So let's um, piss this one off. Now, we've got this engine stand here. So instead of bringing the whole car in. Let's uh, actually go over here. So let's go... Engines. Hmm. Okay, let's get engine blocks. Ah, okay. So that one, I don't even know which engine block that would have been. Let's go this one. Ah, we're going to need heads for it too. Um, so we'll get two heads for it. So we, I'm going to spend about 50000 just mucking around, that's all I'm willing to play. There's nothing to work with, what are you talking about? I just bought an engine block. I did just buy an engine block, didn't I? Yes, yeah, engine block. Oh, I don't want to sell it. Why are you against me now? Add engine into crate. What the hell is going on? I'll unlock to use. What is that? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on, guys. It's screwing me up a little bit. Hmm. So like we might have to do it on a car, but I was sure. That maybe if I can take this out of my inventory, maybe. Hmm. Maybe you just can't build engines by itself, because I've got an engine block on me. There's no items to work with. Alright, so that's uh, that screwing me up a little bit, guys. Um, we'll go ahead and sell that then. Wasted a little bit of money, but that's fine. Still got our supercharger. And our intake manifold for it. Come on, let's see our garage. Let's see if uh, we're going to end something a little bit different. Yeah, I'm sure that that engine should have been able to work with it. Now we got a couple of these old ones too. Uh, let's see if this will give us some stats. Single car OHV. That's OHV too. Single car OHV. 
you are a so OHV. So they're all OHVs, all these older ones. But which one am I? Ooh, that looks nice. And this one has no bonnet. This is also a uh, dual carby. V8 two carb. That looked a bit different than this one. Really don't know. I really need your guys' helps on this one. V8 two carb. Okay, well, they're the same engine, I'm guessing. V8 one carb. Ah, I really don't know, guys. Really don't know. I'm gonna go with. Let's do one of these. This car looks more crappy. It's orange. That engine's orange. This one's got less power, I'm pretty sure. So let's go and try sticking a yeah, C 375. I believe the, the Challenger is just under four. Like right under, right under four. Yeah, 390. See, much more. It's going to change the car positions. Bit upset with. I did like my Dodgers at the front there, but it's inevitably going to happen. Never to be. Never to be. And we can't pronounce that word, but you know what I mean. Let's see what we got cracking here. Uh, straight away, I see a problem. Just the way the the intakes are. It's not good. You need one that's evenly spaced out. Obviously, that's not the one. Uh, not looking good for us, guys. Not looking good for us at all. I'm really not sure how to um, sort this out, guys. If you guys got any suggestions, I'm, I'm all ears to it. All right, Charger, I'm sorry. Here to go back in the back in the hiding hole. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't know. Um, don't know what car would take it then. All the rest seem pretty pretty similar. And the one car I thought it would take because the, the intakes lined up perfectly. This car's a bit older. This one might just take it. Only worth 16 grand. That's get it into the garage. Do like my old school uh, Chevys too. It's probably one of my favourite ones. I like the 55s, the Beast. They're my favourites. Let's uh, hopefully we can throw a turbocharger and make this thing look like a bloody champion. Got the double carbies again. So um, don't know how to feel about that. Considering my car's only got a single carby, but it is a double shot or a double barrel, I guess you call it. It's not a full barrel. Unfortunate, but you know, is what it is. It looks like a different. I don't know, guys. It's all I'm gonna mess around with that before I go crazy. One day we will put a turbo. I'm gonna keep them. Gonna, they're going to be the only parts in my warehouse at all times. Turbocharger, not turbocharger, supercharger, and the um, the rest of it. Guys, I just don't know. You can go into parking. There's no even like information. Like this is just V8 overhead supercharger. I messed around with turbos, but no superchargers. It's making me a little bit upset, guys. A little bit upset. That and the CUDA thing. I really like to see a CUDA. So I don't know if you got with this, you can just like hide it away. No, I want it over like in the warehouse so I can't bloody. Oh, is that all you have to do? Oh, is that all you have to do? That's awesome. Okay, cool. So you right click on it and you keep it in the warehouse and you don't touch it, you don't sell it. That's going to be in there forever, I think. But anyway. While I'm at it, I might buy some more parts. Is there any more performance parts we can actually put on it? It could have something to do with the heads as well, not just the block. Let's see if there's just a V8 overhead. Yes. That's probably the one we need. Which car has that though? That is the big question. Well, that's probably the last one I had too, because there's only them V8s. Ooh, look at this head. 
Ooh, that looks ready for Webbers. Let's have a look at different carbs as well. We got. So we got the single one that was on the truck. Uh, this one looks similar to mine, but it's a two barrel. That looks small. Oh no, that could be. Yeah. I do. I want something like this for my car. I want three of them just attached to the side. That could be interesting too, guys. Um, see if we can put that on the truck. This is uh, you know, based on the Webbers. I'm going to keep. I'm going to. No. Probably shouldn't do that. I'll buy one. No, I'll buy three. I have the money for it. Let's buy a shitty truck. Let's see if we can't find one and see if we can put Webbers on it and make this game you know, a little bit customizable. Because um, that was something I was hoping to find in this game, a bit of customization. You know, putting a supercharger on whatever you want. You know, there was a small bit of it in my summer car, which I enjoyed, you know, after you get whatever done, you can put the better, um, what parts you could upgrade? You know, exhaust, um, the carbs, you know, that, that sort of thing. You know? That's what I look forward to in the game. Not just the same old, nah, you just gotta replace all the parts. Oh, we got another one of them over there. I don't think I got one of them. I don't think that's, that's gonna take the turbocharger either. Bit of a bummer that you can't, like, even car, uh, the parts that are similar, you can just, can't just um, bring them along. Sounds like I'm having a stroke as I'm talking. How are you, beautiful? And, uh, seen better days. Look how bad the body is like when you buy it from here. Just... We've got too many cars like that. And I can't find the truck in here. So I might have to go to the options to find it. Or find it in a barn or something. But I'll come back once I find that truck. All right, car. All right, guys, we're at the car auctions. And, um... Alright guys, we're at the car auctions and uh, there's some cars here, I don't believe I know what they look like. So we're going to have a look, see if there's anything else worth buying. We've got a bit of cash, so hopefully we don't spend too much here. I do have a uh, bad habit of just buying, that's a nice looking car. Ooh, I wish we could have a better look at that, but um... Nah, I have a feeling that won't take supercharger either. Nah, uh, we got one of them. Nah, it looks nice, but just don't want that one. This was actually the car I was excited about because I read it and I read Rhino Piccolo. Didn't even see about the Ecotech. I thought, oh, I haven't seen that car. Let's see what that's all about. That's disappointing. Um, leave a comment if you want me to drop one of them. Uh, it's not a bad looking car. I believe that's a rotary. Or it might be a V8. It might be a V8. Or it's a rotary that takes a V8 starter at least. I have worked on them a little bit. So this Mayhem M3, I have a feeling they're a full drive looking like... Oh, oh, I must have missed it. That's a nice looking charger. But ours is going to look better. Ours is going to look a lot better. Still haven't found the cars I want to buy, guys. And I'm running out of time myself. Already filmed a video today and that didn't go too well. But uh, let's see if we can just... One more go. One more try. If there's a barn find, we'll go for it. And hopefully find what we're looking for. Not even worried about if it's more expensive at the bloody barn. There's no barn. All right, junkyard it is. The old crappy junkyard. I've noticed I'm not getting achievements on this game either. I should have should have got one for completing, um, uh, doing the the driving test, driving the test course. What the hell am I thinking? The test course. Should have done the test course. Got an achievement. That didn't work out. So don't know what's going on there. Alright, final time, same old cars, look at this beauty right here, this is exactly what I was looking for, and doesn't even have a head on it, so, that's something we're going to have to do, it was at 5 grand, how can we not buy it guys, uh, let's go, we're going to make it at least 10 grand on this for 5 grand or no grand on it, but anyway, let's put that straight into the garage, because that's what we want to have a look at. I uh, also found out that if you run out of room in your in your parking area, yeah, there's another one. Ooh. We haven't got one of these. This is a Mustang looking one. This one probably will take the supercharger though. I'm not really a big Ford fan, but you know, I do appreciate a nice car. And that is a nice car. Ah, look here, we've already sold one of you. There's another one! There's fucking three. That one does have the head. 
All right, we're gonna see if we can build one car. Three, one car out of three. Uh, won't be on this episode, might be in the next one. Uh, first of all, I am going to just check out if we can even, hey, this one's even got more parts. Should have bought this one and then fuck the rest of them. It is more expensive. Probably not gonna make our money back. But you know, we'll get a bit of XP. Yeah, throw you in the garage. So we've got four cars in the garage. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll have enough parts for um, to get one going though. Still have to buy some parts. And hopefully the manifold, which I'm gonna put on it, will fit. But I haven't seen anything customizable really on this game. It is a bit, you know, you know, it's good, like, it's a good game. I'm not knocking the game. I'm having a lot of fun playing it, otherwise I wouldn't still be playing it. But that, uh, customization, that's, uh, that's what I like in games. But, you know, it's got a skill tree. I love that in games too. Any game with a skill tree, I'm like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. I like upgrades. And I also like freebies. <laughs> Can't beat a freebie. So we got, we... They look nicely in here, that's for sure. But yeah, we got uh, we got one. Doesn't even have a manifold, so let's uh, let's look at manifolds. Let's see what we we can put on there. Because I have a feeling we'll need manifolds for the for the Webers. I'm just calling them Webers. They're probably not even Webers. And uh, let's see what we got here. That might work. No, it's a V6 one. It's not going to work. What the hell am I talking about? Hmm. That's a very plain one. That's actually very interesting. What's that for, Master? Oh, I'll leave that there. Hmm. Alright, maybe it doesn't take take one. Maybe just bolt straight to the block. Let's have a look. See here. Yeah, okay. It's not going to work. No, oh, that's exhaust anyway. So we've got to put an exhaust down. Does one of these other cars have an exhaust already? Uh, this one does. So let's work on this one. Let's uh, tear down some parts on this. Alright, we've just turned this into a uh, Bazaar Box Truck Co now. So we've got all these bloody pickups. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's all right, I had a feeling that wasn't gonna work. Oh well, I got Webbers for no reason, other than if, you know, a broken car comes in and needs Webbers, I can uh, facilitate that. Anyway guys, that's probably all the time I have. <laughs> that's definitely all the time I have. I haven't got a clock on me. Actually, I got one right here. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, I've got to get going. Um, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give a thumbs up. I really appreciate those thumbs up. And I really appreciate your views on this video. Uh, leave a comment if you wish about anything, what you'd like to see me do next. Um, would you like to just, um, yeah, try to make these cars go away? These cars I'm just going to have to do up and sell or something. Uh, I might do one of these. But yeah, let me know what sort of car you want me to do next or what you want me to pretty much do in the next video. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. But most importantly, guys, you just have a great day and have a feeling in life. See you next time.